Hey everybody, I'm Tony George. He's my esteemed colleague, Scott Spicer. Sporting the Ramones. We're going to rock and roll with the marquee matchup here this week. Right here, courtesy of Doc Sports. Be sure and get over to DocSports.com. Click the link in the description below. Claim that free $60 and use that to put some money in your pocket. Here, Any new member gets a free $60 bucks on the house. And we'll guarantee those places if you actually paid for them. Scott's the best thing going on the internet. Absolutely. Last week's marquee matchup was the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots. And it wasn't much of a marquee matchup as uh, you, New England had their way with them. But this week, Scott, another marquee matchup. The New Orleans Saints off a thrilling victory on Monday Night Football where Drew Brees does what Drew Brees does best. Hold my beer. I'm going to go score, uh, you know, get, get us in a position to score with sure. less than 30 seconds left. And now they take on the Rams. What's interesting about this is this is the NFC Championship revisited. Controversial ending to that with the famous non-call on the pass interference where the Saints thought it cost them a Super Bowl, Scott. Currently the line, Saints plus two and a half, and the total is 53. Your thoughts? Yeah, big revenge game, obviously, for the New Orleans Saints. They changed football as we know it with pass interference penalties now being <laughs> reviewed because of the non-call in the championship game last year. Listen, I watched last week's game. I thought New Orleans had a whole lot of holes, both sides of the line of scrimmage, but mostly on defense. And really thought, you, you talked about in our 10 and 10, which I tell people to watch every week now, is you, you had talked about one team that stole – uh, defeat from the jaws of victory. And Houston kind of did that on Monday night. They had plenty of chances to put that game away. And I don't know what the heck they were doing playing off receivers on that final drive by Drew Brees. But give Brees and the offense credit because they took full advantage of the mistakes made by that Houston defense. In this game, i got to tell you something I noticed. Obviously, we all noticed it against New England. The Rams' offense was completely shut down. They scored three points in the yeah. game against New England. Uh, Goff couldn't do anything. Part of the reason we thought is because maybe Gurley wasn't 100% healthy, Todd Gurley. Well, he is now. Uh, he had a great game last week. He was cutting like he did before he got suffered the injuries uh, well over a year ago. Here's the situation that I noticed, though, from the Rams in the Super Bowl and the Rams in Week 1 in their three-point victory over Carolina. And we'll see if this continues. You look at the passing stats for the Rams. First of all, guys are not getting open now like they were before the Super Bowl against New England. They're being covered a little bit differently. Check out Jared Goff's numbers in his last two games. So the Super Bowl plus week one this year. He's 42 for 77. That's 55% passing. He has one touchdown and two interceptions. He's not finding his receivers like he did before they took on the Patriots to end last year and become the uh, Super Bowl runner-ups. Now, Carolina's defense is pretty good. It was at Carolina where they've always been tough under Ron Rivera. We're going to see if this continues because maybe, just maybe, the blueprint for success to kind of hamstring that Rams offense was set by New England and the coverage schemes that are using are confusing Jared Goff. I'm not a Jared Goff hater, but there were a whole lot of people when he came out of college that didn't think he was all that. He was cracked up to be. We'll see. He's got a tough defense this week against the Saints with revenge on their mind. Yep. And uh, boy, I tell you what, if he comes out and has another tough day passing the football, we could be onto something with the Rams and going against them in certain spots the rest of the season. One stat that jumps off the board at me defensively for both these teams, which should just scare the crap out of anybody. Yards per rush allowed in their last game. Mm -hmm. New Orleans allowed 7.83 yards per carry against the Texans in their own house. Right. And you take L.A., McCaffrey, look, they gave up uh, 343 yards and 5.52 yards per carry. A healthy dose of Kamara, mm -hmm. a healthy dose of Gurley, a little bit of play action passing, the total 53 Last time they played, the, the score was, what, 26-23, and that yeah. was overtime? Yeah. I don't know if that brings the total into play, but I think teams can find success against each other here running the football, sure. maybe take a little pressure off golf, and maybe take a little pressure off Breeze. But you know what that ends up being? Seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, Scott. We're going to end up with the Breeze and golf show <laughs> having a shootout. So uh, I don't know here if that's enough point for the Saints. I'm like you, though, one thing about it. I saw a lot of holes on that team and a lot of spots. Houston should have won that game by 10 points and they didn't. They walked away sure. with a big fat L here. I don't know if they're up to the task going on the road here against LA. And remember, both these teams last week, Scott, in the second half of their games, mm -hmm. 
both their games scored 41 points in the second half, and they both stunk it up in the first half. Sure. It's going to be interesting how this thing lays out. Well, I'm just going to say this, that I kind of lean where that smart money's gone so far this week. We've seen the total come down a little bit. It's down mm -hmm. to 52.5 at the time that we record this video. And that's where I'm leaning. I think you're gonna see a game that lands below 52 and a half. And uh, again, I don't know if this is gonna be a premium pick yet over at Doc Sports, but for now, it is an opinion on the under in our marquee game for this week. And remember folks, get over to DocSports.com because we record these on Wednesday each and every week for you, some days on Tuesdays. We got live odds and scores at Doc Sports, so be sure and double check these lines we're giving you because they're subject to change sure. at any point in time. We appreciate you tuning in to the marquee matchup for my esteemed colleague Scott, for my esteemed colleague Scott Spreitzer, <laughs> who's sporting the Joey Ramone shirt. I'm Tony George. Get over to Docs, make some money this weekend. Thanks for tuning in.